Today we are looking at 20 of the worst McDonald's toys ever. If you want a hamburger, you might get also a bad surprise with it. Finding Nemo Jellyfish, apparently an innocent character but shaped like a dildo, I'm pretty sure what the parents are thinking, they could use it as well for a little play. The jellyfish face lack of enthusiasm is awesome. The McDonald's mask is so creepy I would not even wear it, I would rather wear something more cheerful, optimistic like an alien or attack or a zombie, as clowns are probably the most terrifying creatures in the universe. Rasputin toy is another stupid creation of a mind that cannot relate to children. Do you even know who Rasputin is? How is that not creepy and scary? I would throw this toy immediately, perhaps back at whoever is selling it to me. Nutritional books are like, come and get my food but learn how not to get it. Get it people? Hypocrisy at its highest level. Just like cigarettes packs messages today, buy these ciggies but you could die from them so don't buy them. The plastic glove puppet is just a plastic bag with a drawing on it. If anyone can find this funny or attractive in any shape or form, they must be so easy amused, they don't need actually a toy. Show them a finger and they laugh. Clone Wars toys are a thing of the past. Not only it does not make much sense to have a head on a starship, the Star Wars is for old people. I struggle to find people under 20 knowing who Chewbacca is these days, because I'm old and stuff, you know. Another McDonald's old mask, I cannot believe they don't even bother to do a better job. Just a piece of cardboard with a print on it, they didn't even cut their eyes out. Preposterous, ludicrous, embarrassing. People, this is a doll, a McDonald's doll. I'm happy I was not alive when this was given to people having their hamburgers, so I could not be insulted as a child. Nobody can convince me this is a fun toy other than a voodoo doll to stick needles in it. Fast Max they were called and small heads pops up from a plastic car popping out from a box all so sharp you can cut yourself. I don't even understand completely what this is and how you can have fun with it other than burn it. This is a plastic microscope people just in case you're wondering so you can see through a little plastic lens something a little bit bigger than it really is. Awesome. What can I say? Science. Go go go. One of my favorite is the multiplication machine, so you can solve your homework while you are having fun at McDonald's. Because this is what you do, you go eat a burger and you really feel like working for school. Seriously. And dear friends, this is how your parents used to have fun. Just a plastic watch doing nothing wrap around the hand. How funny. Thanks God we are in 2015, our watches do stuff. A gingerbread keychain or something, I still don't get what this is. Some people say this is some sort of a watch that changes faces from smiling to frowning. I still believe this is creepy. Not so sure about this one, looks like a gladiator cage. I'm not sure how can you play with this other than trapping bugs inside and look at them how they die of starvation. Obviously some bigger bugs. Plastic food play pack. So if you really love the idea of food, you can have some plastic one to take home and perhaps try to fool other kids into taking a bite. That would be funny. Make favorite clown valentines were just a series of printed cards to collect. So the game was to buy meals, get cards and start collecting until you have 12. How is that funny? I don't get it. The Sipa Deeper was just a straw some time ago, so in today's standards you get a straw with a drink anyway, so imagine how special it was to get a straw at that time. A bandit straw is like super fun! Really man? Hey kids, there was a time when toys did not have motors or remote controls but a rubber band to rotate the propeller under. If you think about it, this was genius, not a bad toy actually. An NBA creepy green figurine coming out of a garbage black bag. Creepy man. There's a wolf on the shirt. What's the story of that? Also not sure how you can play with it. Lame lame lame. The latest and the greatest controversy today is the recent release of the cursing minion. Who is supposed to say something funny but it came out as a WTF. I'm not so sure about that but there are many opinions about it. The obvious question for next time, do you know if the minion is cursing or not? Leave your comments down below, I'm very interested to see them. Before you go, check out one of our very successful previous videos, 20 worst but funniest tattoos ever.
Latoya C says you're funny and I love your accent. Whoever call you stupid is jealous and, and they wish they thought of your ideas first. The big boobs on the fat white guy looks painted on. It would be loads funnier if it was permanent. See you in the next video. For more videos like this, remember to subscribe. We will gather the funny, the hilarious, fake, stupid, insane, ludicrous, preposterous, and we will crunch, crush, and trash them for you. Thank you for watching. Really appreciate it. I will see you next time.